Mike said a beat. You know what I want. Blaze up. Come on, Blaze up. It's a beat for me. Wow, 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 Good morning, my love. Good morning, Notes of Organic. Nikki Too Much, Jacqueline McBride. Happy Friday, y'all. Dion, what's going on? Queen Loyalty, Talanda. How I have people in the chat, but for the first 30 seconds, they say ain't nobody on the screen. Girl, good morning, Belinda. Hey, uh, Kayla. Hey, Spill T. Shout out to my wonderful Maj. China X, what's going on? Decoy, Method to My Madness. Zanab, happy Friday, y'all. Decoy. Um, uh, Courtney, step your money up. Author Empress, hey my boo. Sonia, good morning. Let's joke while I drink my coffee. Hit the like button, please, and thank you. You guys, um, I hope that it's streaming to Facebook because StreamYard say Facebook tripping. That they've been having problems with, you know, whatever whoop the whoop. So hopefully my Facebook family come up in here too. Cause you know they be in here. You know, I got people that come from Facebook every day. So I hope they, they get the stream, y'all. Uh good morning, my uh me Mashia. I'm sorry. Good morning. Queen Diamonds, Peace Speak, Special K, Latisha, Sacreen. What's going on? Sucrence. Did I say your name wrong? Sucrence? Is that how you say it? I'm sorry. Jaquetta, happy Friday, Special K. Miss Bev, good morning. Author Empress, I think I spoke to you, boo. Shaquana, your pie. What's going on, y'all? It's Bree to you. Black Oleander, hey. Kelly Grant, God bless. What's up, man? Sheila, what's up? Lulu, what's up? G Power, good morning from chat from Baby Corey and I. Well, good morning to you and Baby Corey. Okay, Facebook on here because I see somebody like the video. Shout out, man. Hey, Alita, good morning. Mean Beans, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What y'all on? What's going on? Dean Facey, good morning. How y'all doing? God's anointed daughter, what's up? Yvonne Cox, what's up? Esther, what's up? Shayla, what's up? Good morning. It's Friday, y'all. Kayla Rain, Alicia Tubbs, Meek, my baby. What's up? Christian Griffin. Yes. Did you run this morning? No, I'm going to run when I get off of here because it's a little nippy. So I like to run when the sun come out a little more so I could, you know, run into the sun, you know. In the arms of an angel type shit. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Kyle. Uh, Kathy. Hey, Cat Cat. Sexy Mocha, Lavish, Aqua Sun, Yvonne, Flower Child, what's up? Good morning, ada, 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 ada. Monique, Ebony Miles. Yeah, let's go ahead and like the video, y'all, if y'all haven't already. Thank you, Ebony. If you have not already, please like the video. We got a couple of things to discuss, okay? We have a few things to discuss. Hey, Williams, Kiki the Diamond, Ivory Cole, Ladybug, Unforgettable, Unforgettable. <laughs> Steph, my love, Mika, what's going on? Everyone, happy Friday. Yeah, great bays. Um, something weird happened to me last night. You two sent me a survey about your videos. I think they're questioning your engagement. What they ask you, girl? What they ask you? What they ask you? Did they ask you if 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 something about the algorithm? Because they didn't ask me about nobody's personal videos, but they asked me something uh about um what they asked me, they asked me about um to to help my algorithm, what I want to see on my timeline. But let me know what they asked you, girl. Nicole, what's going on? Uh, Notes Organics. Happy Friday. Yes. Um, yes, yes, yes. Oh, it's two Nicoles in here. All right. That's what I'm talking about. I don't believe 50 baby mother. Yeah, it's given opportune, but we'll get there. Little City, Jaquetta. I'm the one and only Holly Favor. It's given podcast. Hey. Yeah, it's giving girl what? <laughs> BB, what's up? Only accepting blessings. Daphne Hall, love to hate me. What's going on? What's going on? Miss Bev, I'm on Facebook now. You good. Cool. Thank you. Spirit Goddess, you glow girl. 
Um, who else? Um, who do I told you I'm gonna mail him to your first class express? Good, as long as you got a return on it. Cause see, when he about one and a half, he got to come on back home. I like them when they babies, but when they start knowing stuff, they gotta go. When they start knowing what's going on, they gotta go. They gotta go. So I keep them for about six months. I and then I send them back. Of course, send them on down. Yes, little city three one four Tina Tyler. Lovely D's, Candy Lou, Gloria Bunch, Crystal, Bubbles Robber, Spirit. What's up? Candy Lou. Yay. Listen, um, y'all hit the like button, please, so we can get into this tea. Oh, uh, special kid, what they ask you, girl? They ask you if I was real. Let me scroll up. Did you respond yet? Girl, you two be really playing with me. Now, this is the gag. This is the gag. I understand why they're doing what they're doing because people be buying subscribers. Hey, a teary eyed Tracy's take. What's going on? I, listen, people do be uh Miss Kiki B. People be buying subscribers, so I understand. Do you like this recommendation? How does it? Re yeah, it's the recommendation thing. They asked me too, but they didn't ask me about it. I don't know. I kind of saw, it, but I just walked past it. Hey, Josie. Yep, you know how the preferences do. Shawde, you know how I go. It asked whether I was interested in what I recommended to others. Oh, now that's big. They ask that all the time on my timeline for different channels. Okay. Let me tell y'all something. I understand what they're doing. If they're if it's a generic thing, then that's one thing. But if they're asking, I think it's because they're trying to see if you guys are real. Because people buy chat buy bots for subscribers. Like they do. And I think what they're trying to do is cut down on that. Also, AI be making channels. Y'all know that you can make an AI make a channel. Like they gotta make sure you a real person behind this all type shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's crazy though. Uh, it I think it's something new because they I saw it talking about help us organize your timeline or something, but I just kind of scrolled past it because I was busy. Girl, they they've been monitoring me since I came on here, Dean. I ain't worried about it. Still gonna pop my shit. Speaking of, shout out. Make sure y'all pull up tonight for Educational Friday, y'all. Speaking of Educational Friday, um. Man, I watched. Y'all know I be I dibble and dabble everywhere on YouTube. Y'all know that, right? Hey, be Nikki. Hey, Nakisha. I had to be part of replay game last couple of days. I'm gonna listen about five hours of tea. Oh yes, thank you. It be Indians behind them tea channels and real people in the comments be engaging. But thanks. Look, I speaking of educational Friday. Um, I dibble everywhere on YouTube. And I be in a conscious community too. Obviously, duh. Because, I mean, I ain't no conscious person. I don't like the community. I mean, I, I ain't going to say I don't like the community. I think it's just, it's discombobulated. But ultimately, it is a discombobulated mess that, you know, black, that's just, that's just black people. Or whatever. Hey, Sandy Schneider. Shake Schneider, I'm sorry. Um, But I watched this uh, debate between Brother Jabari. If y'all are familiar with these people, y'all will understand. But I'm explaining who these people are. And this dude, Rod, I forget his last name. This guy, Rod something. And I was so, oh my God, I was so, like it triggered, it triggered, the whole thing triggered me. The whole thing triggered me. The whole thing triggered me. Let me tell you why. So just explain the characters if you don't know who these people are. Brother Jabari is an educated uh per Rod Hayes. That's his name forever, sugar. Thank you. Uh nice brother, really nice brother. So Brother Jabari is a professor, a college professor. He's to me, if you ask me, very indoctrinated. You know what I mean? Like you ever you ever talk to somebody who got buku degrees? They always speak like they 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 just got out of school or class or something like that. That's Brother Jabari. Everything comes from a from a scholarly standpoint. And then Rod Hayes was on the other end and he was making some damn good points. Now Rod Hayes is a, I guess a regular brother, but he uh he he says that he's native to the land which is the indigenous pe people. OCO, if you're on here, you understand where I'm coming from. Love you, Grape T. Look, so Rod Hayes is an uh, indigenous brother to the land, and his argument. Now, first of all, this wasn't a debate. 
this was really um this was really on some type stuff about uh it was really on some rod rod hayes was saying yo the way in which they taught us the slavery story is not it is it can't be logically correct for instance y'all know that bo that long ass boat they showed y'all on the um on the uh on on when y'all was in school in the book and they had the slaves to the head head to toe lined up like that in layers and layers he was saying um oh he's a huge grifter the one oh my god jesus christ jermaine he's a huge grifter huge grifter oc or forever sugar listen um he was saying the story the way in which they told us was really you know it's it, he don't believe logically it could happen because basically if he had that many people under the uh hall of a ship which is true between fecal matter feces menses and all that stuff it'll literally turn into a gas chamber which is why when you uh uh, uh go to the bathroom it's called waste so but brother jabari comes from books after book after book and this is what triggered me brother jabari was using sources and every one of his sources could have been debunked and i'm sitting here saying ride brother ride please like well you don't have nothing in front of you like when he brought up the clotilde thing the the, the so-called slave ship that was found on the coast of africa he brought that up as proof that there were actual slave ships no baby that has already been debunked and we're gonna talk about it tonight they wouldn't let uh top cat speak to save his life brother jabari scared of him girl it was a time and then um i think what was messed up was brother jabari treated it as a um as a debate but it really was more or less of a conversation and the brother rod hayes was just on there like you know yeah like it's just a conversation like it's not that deep i didn't come with no teas and all of this but it was triggering because educated people really think they're the smartest people in the room and a lot of times they be the most indoctrinated and dumbest in the room and it just bothers me brother jabari you know i'm hoping the brother right heads get to go back and debate him for real and they do something uh together but I want, i'm gonna touch on a couple of that stuff tonight for educational friday um Dane calloway came here to africa town which is where the last slave ship came to america prove it, it wouldn't be able to be and uh it wouldn't be able to be in mobile bay listen not only i seen that video not only that Mar aquamarine has already proved that that's not the quotilda the quotilda that's not the that's not the that's not a slave ship but we so indoctrinated by what they say we just allow whatever they put in front of us to be gossip gospel they do that every so often to remind niggas that you were slaves and to keep you on the slack the the track of I'm, I'm less than they do it every every black history month don't they play roots then we debunk that roots wasn't even a true story coming from the man who wrote it them listen and it's another thing this is why i say black I, why, this is why i focus my my uh educational fridays on black history we about to get to the t y'all we about to get to the tea, but this is why I focus my black, black history, my educational Fridays on black people, because the part that we play in the fuckery is the main reason why we so jacked up, period, point blank, because they got people who will say, oh, this is my ancestor, or oh, yeah, my family came off this boat, and they really be on there just say, just to, just to get the money, them people on there, they getting paid to get in front of these cameras, did we not? um did we not see um did we not see last week or was a week before last how do how them people was reading scripts in the 60s about that voters right shit put a one in the chat if you was on educational friday and we watched how black people was really on their reading scripts and that was from snick in the naacp with them people black people take part in the fuckery that's why I, I my channel to be honest if you never came to my educational friday it's education but it's really re-education it's on some exposed type shit we literally watched a, a video from the 1960s on the mississippi voters right act that was headed by uh the late great uh fannie lou hamer and then the naacp came and co-opted them people them kids in the 1960s were reading fucking scripts 
if you think I'm lying, go look at my, I already organized all my videos. Go look at Educational Friday at the Dollhouse. On my Educational Friday videos, they got one that had, that say uh, Mississippi voters. I can't remember how I named it. They was literally reading a script. They were literally in it, but this is the thing. It's put in front of us as it's true. And that's why I'm just saying, you know, it, it's just, and, and then people like Brother Jabari who indoctrinated into the system believe everything that's put in front of him because the system told him to, hence the word indoctrination. Brother Jabari could be debunked. Everything he said, I was debunking it in my head. And I'm sitting here saying, dang, Brother Ron, get this nigga, get this nigga. But at the end, he said, yo, I didn't come prepared. I got something else going on. This was supposed to be a discussion. Woot the woot the woot. So, you know, man. It, it was just, it was triggering because Brother Jabari really think he the smartest nigga in the room. This is why I keep saying, let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all something. I keep telling y'all, educated people are typically the dumbest. And I got two degrees. The motherfuckers running around with most degrees are typically the ones with no common fucking sense. Look at Wendy Ocefo. That hoe got four degrees and couldn't think her way out of a paper bag. IG is Voodoo Doll TV, Medusa. I believe Jabari getting paid too. I believe Jabari getting paid too. Don't let nobody with no degrees tell you they smarter than y'all. That's a motherfucking lie. And I got two of them. Don't let nobody with degrees tell you they smarter than you. That is a motherfucking lie. Yeah, they smarter than you on whatever they studied. And some, a lot of that be bullshit. That's my word today. Do never, do not ever let nobody with degrees tell you that they smarter than you. That is the worst. That is the biggest lie ever told to man. The biggest lie ever told to man. Them be the dumbest motherfuckers walking the face of this earth thinking they the smartest. And I got two degrees, so replay gang, don't get on here talking about, now you degree shaming. You know they put anything in front of the word shaming to make you feel bad. Now you degree shaming. No, I'm not degree shaming. That shit, them, girl, if you, if you got degrees like me, you in debt just like me too, girl. Go lay down. And you still ain't working making the money to pay back the debt you owe, so go lay down. Girl, anyways, if you want to say I'm degree shaming, that's what I'm doing. Rod Hayes is really chill and humble. He usually won't argue with folks. I watch this live all the time. I, this was my first time hearing him, hearing about him. That was my first time hearing about him because I kind of keep an ear to the to, to the conscious community. And lately, I've been watching a whole bunch of um, uh, a whole bunch of old debates, even with Polite crazy ass, and because Polite was smart as a motherfucker, he let that money get, he let that devil get on him. That devil got on his back and rolled that nigga. But before all of that, when he was humble and he was smart and he was debating them niggas, the Hebrew Israelites and all them niggas, and he was out there debating the Muslims and all them, that nigga was on his shit. Um, they not, Belinda. They not. And guess what? G Powell said it's funny how people can start a business without degrees or education, but they require that you have degrees. This the gag. This the gag. This the gag. Let me fuck your head up. The most wealthiest people don't have degrees. The most, the wealthiest people don't have degrees. Only poor people think that a degree equals wealth, and it doesn't. Educated lames, I mean, educated idiots, that's what your mama calls them. They, are, they really are a smart dummy. That's what they are. That's what they are. Now, I'm not telling nobody don't go to college. Go to college. If, they, if you want to go and get a cap and gown and walk across the stage, girl, carry your ass down to the college. I did. But what I'm saying is I don't want nobody on this on this um live right now listening to my voice to ever let anybody with degrees who probably use big words and learn how to put them in sentences to make you feel like you, you less than. Don't you ever. And I'm talking to y'all like y'all my, my one of my kids. And I know how a lot of y'all older than me, but I'm just telling y'all the truth. Don't you ever in your life let nobody with degrees, I don't give a damn if it's one to five degrees, not even a Dr. Wendy. That's why I don't like that bitch. Don't you ever let nobody with degrees make you feel like they smarter than you or make you feel like you less than them. Them the dumbest, smart, the, the smartest, dumbest motherfuckers walk in the face of this earth. They got blinders on. They don't know shit. They don't know shit. 
the man, the person, I ain't gonna say the man, the person with experience and wisdom will outthink them motherfuckers 90 going west. I'm telling you, like I say, don't you ever let a nigga with a degree or a bitch with a degree hold no shit over your head. Th that's how we got fucked up now. But if most of us ain't have degrees, we probably be more conscious. Our third eye probably be open a little bit more. But because we indoctrinated through the school and through the goddamn church, child, please. We, we, I, that third eye so closed, bitches giving Stevie Wonder. Girl, you don't need no motherfucking degrees. Bad enough, you get a bachelor's, that ain't shit. You get a master's, that ain't shit. Hell, now they're giving away doctorates. So what's the point? What's the point? Like the video, you guys, please. Please and foremost. I say please and foremost. Please, you guys, please like the video. Oh, yeah, them Africans. Let me tell you why them Africans, Sergeant King, that's a good prop. That's a good thing. He said a lot of Africans have six degrees and drive a taxi because they, they value system. You got to keep in mind. Let, can we talk? Can we talk? And then we're going to get into the tea. Let's talk real quick. I ain't going to hold y'all. This is why I keep telling y'all Africans and Negroes are not the same. Yes, we are all so-called black, but we ain't nothing the same. I don't care what nobody tell y'all about that old go to Ghana, them people going to rob your ass and, and kick your ass up out of there like they're doing all the rest of these Negroes. Listen to me and listen to me good. Africans and Negroes are not the same. Matter of fact, Negroes in the whole so-called diaspora leads the pack a million miles. And what happens is with Africans, they suffer the same colonialism that we suffered here. Well, they suffered the same bullshit we suffered with the colonizers through colonialism in, in Africa. And with that, Africans took on the image of the clear person so much so. Don't get me wrong. Negroes taking on too. Negroes are very white uh, identified. That's why we love cheering on the little clear children when they know how to dance or rap hip hop or the old clear woman who know how to rap. We got it too, but not quite like the Africans. They believe that that clear is the right thing to do. Not all of them. So if it ain't you and you're on here, I ain't talking about you, but I'm talking about as a collective. And they identify so much and want so much to be next to the clears that they preach education. Wendy, Dr. Wendy told y'all on the show, I only got four degrees because my mama wanted me to get four degrees. And her mama over there bleaching her skin about to fucking disappear. The bitch over there looking like Michael Jackson. They go get all them degrees. Good morning, cousin. Good morning, cousin. They go get all them degrees. And just like the regular Americans be sitting there looking stupid with all them damn degrees. And they do that because they're trying to be close to them clear people. And this is the gag. If you have, if you ever wonder if you and the black people and the uh, Africans were the same, ask yourself this. They called you an African-American for what, 40 years, 50 years? How long they called us African-Americans? How come so when the Africans come over here, they get to start businesses and, and do X, Y, and Z? How come so you can't do that and you so-called an African too, right? Ain't you ain't, ain't ain't we all the same according to Dr. Umar? Ain't Dr. Umar say we all African, pan African, 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 African? Well, if we all African, why is it that the Africans get to come over here and get the clear treatment, but the so-called Africans that are here get stepped on and treated like shit? If you ever wondered if you and the African was the same, I tell you what, I know who know y'all ain't the same. I know who know y'all ain't the same. You might think y'all the same, but I know who know y'all ain't the same. Guess who that is? Guess who know the difference between them and you? While Pan-African is Dr. Umar Griffin ass running around here telling y'all we all the same and, and Brother Jabari. Guess who know that there's a difference? The powers that be. So when you go into the beauty store and the Africans own the beauty store, or if you go into the liquor store and the Africans own the liquor store in your neighborhood, or if you see the Africans got this, that, and the third, not all of them, but the large collective, ask yourself, well, damn, if he African 
and I'm a so-called African American, why is it that he get a different treatment from me? Because duck, duck, goose, they telling you y'all the same, but they know there's a whole huge difference. A huge difference. But that's my word for the day. Let's get into the tea because I don't want to make this too long winded. Um, oh yeah, they own a lot of rest. They own a lot of shit. They own a lot of shit. Negroes is the only way they can own shit to be completely honest is online. Just listen, I keep telling y'all life is not fucking chess. It's what they say, connect phone, nigga. This shit is easy. It's not hard. It's easy. Just look. Open your eyes. Not the regular eyes you use to watch TV. Open your eyes and look around. Any questions you have, just look. Just pay attention. The answers are right, literally right there in your face. Pay attention. When I look up black on hair salons, it pull up at exactly. Exactly. When you when you look up braids, all you see is the Africans. That's all you see. Why would Google push them like Negroes don't do braids too? If you are a so-called African American and they moving here would be considered a so-called African American, why is it that your treatment ain't the same as theirs? Think about it. Open that third eye. Everybody got it. It's just most of us walking around with blinders on it. Open that third eye. If you are an African and Mutombo is an African, why is it Mutombo get shit that I can't get and we all supposed to be African? You get it? Simply, pe simply put, because you ain't no motherfucking African. But if you want to hold on to a whole continent that don't accept you, have at it, baby. I'm not here to convince you of shit. But next time you think about it, Next time you, next time we talk about this, next, no, next time you think about this, just take a look around. That's all I'm saying. Hey, don't listen to nothing I'm saying. Just look. Don't listen to nothing I'm saying. Just look. Pay attention. It's easy. Pay attention. It costs you nothing to pay attention. It costs you absolutely nothing to pay attention. Mm-hmm. Y'all don't want to hear that shit, though, because y'all don't let these people get y'all that out of Africa theory, tell y'all roots was real and all this ugly ass shit, get y'all all this indoctrination from kindergarten all the way up through college if some of y'all went, and y'all just holding on to Mother Africa. Oh, Africa. Oh, a Africa don't give a fuck about you, girl. Africa don't care about you. Can your ass over there and try to move over there. Let's see what happens. Go on YouTube and put in uh, African Americans in Africa or Black Americans in Africa and see what see what they pull up. They scamming him. They kicking them out, telling them they gonna extend their dog on um uh, citizenship and then scam girl. Please, okay, go ahead, K O S down to Africa. Let's move on. Um, let's move on to some of these topics. Let's move on to some of these topics. Like I said, if you don't, don't listen to nothing I'm saying, just pay attention. Now, who we got on the docket? Who we got on the docket? Let me see. Who on here? Who all on here? Let me go see. I know we got Stevie J. Let's start with Stevie J, girl, since we on it. Let's start with Stevie J. So Stevie J, <laughs> so 50 Cent put up a post of the, the picture that's alleged in the um the lawsuit. And uh and uh Stevie J <laughs> Uh, no, yeah, and then he put up saying basically they calling me. I'm sorry, y'all. Not even kick me off the goddamn Bluetooth. So look, Stevie J uh, uh not not Stevie Stevie J 50 Cent over there um calling of Stevie J and Stevie J saying he won't fight. <laughs> He commented under his comments and was like, All right, uh, Curtis, I know you're trying to get your little 15 minutes to whoop, 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 you know, make your little fun. And then as Curtis kept trolling, he said, Nigga, meet me and we could go fight. Meet me and we could come here. Come meet me. Let's meet up and fight. Now Stevie wanna fight.
most people are afraid to open the third eye. I remember I kept getting you on my timeline and I, and I was afraid because your name is Voodoo, but I'm so glad that I got over that fear and found I absolutely love you. Let me say this, y'all. Let me say this. You know, I don't know if I told y'all this before. Real quickly, we're we going to get back to the tea. The reason I call myself Voodoo Doll TV is a couple of reasons. Number one, the first reason was I was like, um, every, when I moved out of uh, Louisiana, New Orleans, after Katrina, everywhere I went, whenever people heard my accent, they'd be like, oh, you from New Orleans? And I'd be like, yeah, the sound coming in and out. People be like, oh, you from New Orleans? And I'd be like, yeah, you know Voodoo? Fucking voodoo, nigga. If I knew voodoo, nigga, we would stop this fucking hurricane. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Fuck. But it it was that, and also because me doing a lot of studying on religion, uh, and 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 practices, and I understand that voodoo is not bad, and a lot of spirituality, a lot of spiritual. What you want to talk about, Brian? Tell me, I dropped the link, and you a clear man. Oh no, this is a Negro meeting. This is a Negro meeting, brother Brian. Brian O'Shea. This is a Negro meeting. What you want to talk about? I done seen you drop this link. Asked me to drop the link about five times. What? Why? This is a Negro meeting. What is what? Can I help you, sir? What you need? What you need? Brian, what is going on? This is the third time I done seen you say drop the link. We are in a Negro meeting. This ain't that. Nah, uh You don't. Uh, uh No. You supposed to watch in the bushes. This is a Negro meeting. Now, Brian, you got to lay down now. Then put in the chat what you want. And that'll tell me if I'm gonna drop the dog on link. Cause you gonna tell my show we in a Negro meeting now. I don't know why they be coming fucking with me. What I be doing? What I be doing? This is a Negro meeting. I want to see what Brian wants. If he, if he, if he, if he, if he come on saying something that make me want to drop the link, I'll drop the link. But other than that, this is a Negro meeting, sir. Come on now. You got to stay low. Lay low. You better lay low. Listen, until we get Brian on here to tell us what the hell he won't listen. Um, The reason I chose that name, because after uh, researching religion, I realized that voodoo and spirituality uh, as a religion and as a practice, especially with a lot of Haitian culture in New Orleans and all type of stuff. This is what I'm trying to say. That's stuff that we were doing, but they demonized that and gave us a damn Bible and told us that's what we need to be listening to. And we've been fucked up ever since. We have literally disconnected. They've literally like it's almost like pulling a flower or a tree from the ground. They've literally pulled a tree from the ground. They pulled your, you are the tree. They pulled you from the ground. You know? So they gave you that damn book in that church house and told you that's the way to go and demonized voodoo. Now, when I first went to somebody and asked them about the name, they was like, oh, I don't know. I don't think no, I would name myself no voodoo. Uh, TV because people gonna think you over there doing voodoo and ain't nobody gonna come. I say, but I'm not doing no voodoo. I'm really on here, Joseph. You know, acting crazy, doing reality TV. And they were, I don't think you should do it. That's gonna turn people away. And you know, when that person told me that, that really made me be like, that's what I'm gonna name it. I don't know. I'm the type of bitch when somebody say it ain't gonna work. I gotta prove them wrong. You know what I'm saying? When they, anytime a motherfucker tell me I can't do something, I get this urge on my spirit that tell me now you got to do it. So when he said that, I was like, bet. And mind you, this person started a podcast a long time, the same time I did. And my podcast doing way better than his. But that's neither here nor there. You know what I mean? But anyways, I'm saying that to say, I'm glad y'all clicked on me, even though my name is Voodoo Doll TV. Ain't no Voodoo Pop. To enlighten y'all and open y'all third eye because a lot of our third eyes is sh sh eyes wide shut. Because I'm telling y'all now, you think they ain't got no, if, if the so called bad voodoo, you think that ain't voodoo going down in that church? 
You think that ain't voodoo going down in that church house when y'all in there speaking in tongues? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, when you drinking the blood and eating the body? <gasps> oh, or maybe the altar at the beginning or at the end of the church? You know, and that black man or that clear man stand on top of that altar behind that pulpit and with the clear man behind him, the gay one, Caesar Borgia, and tell you that's your God? Oh, girl. Mm -hmm. But voodoo bad. Okay, girl. It, in your prophetess in your church, remember the prophetess? Ain't that a psychic? Oh. Y'all ain't ready for that conversation. But shout out to everybody who pulled up, man. Um, it ain't nothing like that. You know, we we just over here. I'm trying to enlighten my people and wake my people up, man. I think that's my calling is to wake my people up. Man, don't get me wrong. We do the jokes and I do the reality shows and woo woo woo. But my calling my, that I feel like the most high put on me is to wake my people up. And I know I ain't gonna wake them all up, but if I could wake up them, I did what I'm supposed to be here to do. I've never been so sure about anything in my life. I have never been so sure about anything that I've done in my life than what I'm doing right now on this channel. Not even the, the live streaming that I do at the dollhouse. No shade. But I have never been so sure about anything in my life than what I'm doing right now on this channel. Educational Fridays. You know what I'm saying? Type shit. Um, but anyways, let's move on back to the thing. So now Stevie J won't fight y'all. And Stevie J go lay down. And one thing I learned about a nigga who won't fight you after you spill them with some teeth, it must be true. Because a nigga can't make me mad about a lie. But he can only make me mad about the truth. Now, Stevie want to fight. Stevie, go lay down. 50 not going to fight you, baby. That don't go like that. That don't go like that. Girl, come on now. So, on top of that, 50 Cent is beefing with his baby mama. Now, we talked about this last night. Uh, 50 Cent baby mama Daphne Joy was mentioned in the lawsuit basically saying her and Carisha, Carisha was S workers and that there was uh, traffickers and all of that so uh, 50 has been calling her a little S worker let me say this it's funny for the internet but that's the mother of your kids bro that's the like you really won't troll them, your baby mama Like, for real? And I, I mean, like, okay, I get it. You trolling 50, I mean, Diddy, you trolling all these things. Nigga, that's the woman who got to take care of your child. And you going to troll this lady? Hmm. But then it comes out, she's one of Puffy's concubines. So then I say, oh, sound about right. We need an intermission. What the lights looking like, y'all? Tell me what the lights looking like. Tell me what the lights is looking like so I can know if we need a dog on intermission. So, um, because I know who in here. I need to see what the lights on. What type of time the lights is on? Three hundred. Oh yeah, we need an intermission. 338, thank you, Great Bays. We need an intermission. Let me give y'all a little time to go in on hit that like button. It's going to take you 50 seconds. You guys, do me a favor. Hit that like button. I'm going to give you 50 seconds. I'm going to play some music. Look, hit that X, hit the like button, and come on back. We're not going nowhere, I promise you, baby. Go ahead on and hit that like button. I'm going to give y'all this little intermission. Can you hear me now? Oh, let's go. It's your boy, Big Chew. The voice of the beat. You know what I want. Blaze up. Come on, Blaze. It's a beat for me. Wow, 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 w
Y'all better hit that like button. Have you all friend hit the like? We at 393. Have you all friend hit the like button? Come on now, y'all. Y'all act like I be asking y'all for blood or something. I don't, I don't get it. I really don't understand. Just hit the like button. I'm not monetized. I'm trying to keep my ass in the algorithm. Now, if y'all won't come on here every morning and hit me, y'all ain't going to get no damn notifications. Then y'all going to be saying, who do? I didn't get no notifications. Hit the like button so you can get the notification. Child. We have 401. Thank you, Great Bays, for keeping it up. Thank you, Renetta. Y'all want to um sit up there and act like y'all, you know, y'all want to listen, but y'all don't want to like. Come on now. Y'all know y'all. Even if you put the thumbs down, girl, I don't care. Just do something. But anyways, I feel like trolling his baby mama is too far. Not because of her, but because your child. Now, she came out and said, we had 425. All right. She came out and said, um, at first she came out and was like, nigga, I moved all the way to New York. Thank you, Talanda. Thank y'all for keeping me updated. We're going to put these numbers up here till y'all get these likes up. At first, she came out and said, I moved all the way to New York so you could be close to your son, but you don't, you probably seen him 10 times the whole time. Yeah, you'll be on Instagram posting like you, um, like you be with your baby. And you know what that made me, you know what that told me? Thank you, KJ441. Let's get the likes up. You know what that told me? Um, you know what that told me? It's like, he like the regular nigga in the street. You know them niggas that be on social media with that churn, but in real life, you know that nigga don't ever be with them churn? Then you should say it ain't trolling if he, if she really a S worker. Yeah, I mean, I guess. 444. Come on now, keep these lights up. I'm putting these numbers up so y'all can like this video. 445. Come on now. 625 of y'all in here. Hit the like button. YouTube gonna knock, a, knock some of y'all out. 447. They gonna knock some of y'all out. It's 625 in here. Include, I guess that might be including Facebook. But go ahead on and hit the like button, y'all. 448. Let's get into it. I just feel like she wasn't in line with that. Because number one, he's a he's a celebrity. He's always on the go. But this is why I keep telling y'all. Didn't I tell y'all before we get to the part of her accusing him? Didn't I tell y'all 50 better tread light? Remember I told y'all that? Remember I said that? I say, I say, fifty better trade light. Remember that? Remember I saw y'all that? Now, why is this important? Thank you, Talanda. This girl turns around and said, "Nigga, you are me." Oh Lord! In a Me Too movement time, she came out and said, "You are me." Thank you, Deborah. I told 50, tread, like, it's cute, every little sniggaloo, 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 but when you do something, no, she didn't say S-A, she say R. Even though R fall under S-A, that's different. If she say R. And guess what? I think she lying too. But this the gag. It don't matter when the court of public opinion in Me Too makes the decision. Are we tracking? Are we tracking what I'm trying to tell y'all? It don't matter when the people who, who makes the decision is the court of public opinion and the Me Too movement. He is a celebrity. Already in a purse for Hollywood. He should have sat the fuck down and ate his cereal. Yeah, I told Diddy one, two, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you're doing the most now. Even if it's a lie. Even if it's a bold faced made up lie. Nigga, do you want that jacket on you? Is it good to have that jacket on 50? See what I'm saying? I see. I'm pretty sure 50 ain't clean on everything. Tread light. Leave that shit alone. All right, you did your little one, two. Whenever an update come out, say your little one, two, and go on about your business. But you doing the most because this how they were. And guess what? That's a clear woman. You know that's a little almond milk, right? That's a little glass of almond milk. And y'all know how it go in the, in the milk community. It ain't what you know. It's what you can prove. The abuse from 50 uh, to her ain't a lie. She won in court already. What happened with the court case? Y'all gonna have to um let me know. I'm not monetized Jenny B2 Fresh. That's why you can't uh, super chat. But I do have a cash app if you want to um 
if you want to, what you call me, it, it'll show up as soon as I pull this uh, thing down. Thank you so much, though, for uh, inquiring about supporting the channel. Listen to what I'm saying. Listen to what I'm saying. This is a milk community member. Didn't we talk about this last night and every day about the milk community and how you don't get treated fairly in their community? Think about it like this. Think about it like this. 644 of y'all in the chat. Please like the video. Please like the video. It's free. Look. Now this girl then came out and said you are worded, huh? Nigga, you could you could possibly in your whole shit trolling the wrong bitch. That's why I told y'all 50 better trade light. 50 better tread light. You going to troll the wrong person. Tro troll them rapper niggas. Don't nobody care about them. But now you trolling the mother of your child. Not, how, what, if she stressed out, how that going to affect your child? Then you on here putting out, you calling her a little ex worker. He broke in and beat her up in her house, ransacked the entire home, cops came, etc. Wow. I didn't know that, B. Billy. Thank you. But this the gag. Let me make sure I head up from that. She said something different. She said not, not only that happened, and, and that's going to lead to the character. She turned around and said, she turned around and said, you are me. Yeah, Tanya. Now he trying to get custody. Not after she telling people you are her. Yeah, he, he trolled Curtis Jr. I didn't like that neither. I think that was something that should have happened on the low. But I ain't gonna lie, Curtis Jr. is he's he's he he's gone. He's gone. He's gone. He done. Curtis Jr., his he got his whole mama mentality, his whole mama's mind. He 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 he, he might not come back till he's about 40 or 50. He gone. No matter what, no matter what, thank you, 488 in the chat. Like the video. I mean, 488 likes. Listen, 488 likes. Like the video. Listen. That was a complex one. That was a complex one. I wouldn't have done that on you on a no social media platform. And as a father, period, point blank, there's no way around that. But that little boy is so mama identified. Even if 50 showed him proof of some shit, he wouldn't. He wouldn't take it. Whatever his mama said. See, that's that weird mother-son relationship right there. It to me, if that lady asked him to unalive somebody, he'll do it. That's how close and under the titty of his. You see what I'm saying? That's why I say I don't have no son. I don't know how they go. But he's still right. You're right. He still trolled the son. He should have never done that. But when we think about it, that one different. Ah, I just thought that one a little different. Because as I'm listening to this little boy. I'm like, yeah, you could tell. He got all his mama talking points. He got all his mama on. Um, and that's another thing. Yes, Miss Parker, mothers have to stop talking about their kids in front of their fathers. I mean, in front of their own, um, talk about these fathers in front of their kids. Candace said, I don't understand why men don't understand to go lay down. The easiest way to destroy a man is to accuse a man of several things, as you say, R S A D V child P. I keep. Right. Thank you, Candy. Thank you, Candy. Thank you. I said it. I, I was the only one said it. I mean, everybody over there laughing at 50. It was cute at first. It was funny. But tread light. I said it. Now the girl that said R word. Now if she take that R stuff further, down goes 50. The same, the same niggas you, you laughing at. You're gonna be running right into him. Go let your ugly ass down, 50. And he is an ugly nigga. Go let your ugly ass down before them people come snatch you up off your shit. Go lay down, bro. 50. Go lay your ass down. Go lay your big ass down. Because them people gonna snatch you up off your shit. Them people gonna snatch you up off your shit. It don't matter if it's true. All she got to do is say it, and them people going to snatch you up off your shit. If she pursued that route, he's done. I don't give a damn what nobody say. If he, 
if that girl, Daphne Joy, pursues the route of saying that he armed me, I don't give a damn if there's no 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 kit, no none of that. He's over. Lay your ugly ass down, bro. Lay your ugly ass down. Shit. He better trade light. I'm telling y'all, he better trade light. You guys like the video? My sister's in AKA. I was at her apartment years ago. Just puzzled me about her place underwear. Huh? Her place underwear, clothes, her behavior is strange. What in the African mask though she had? I don't understand what you're saying, keeping it 100. Hmm. 50 better go lay the fuck down somewhere. I'm telling you. Let's pivot off of that. Beyonce made a country album and that shit trains. Is that can I be honest with y'all? Yeah, I'm gonna be honest with y'all anyway. I know y'all gonna drag me, so fuck it. I might as well see what I'm gonna see. That shit trash. It's trash. Beyonce, that, that shit trash. I don't and the, do you know how I know people really don't be liking the art? They really just be more in love with the artist. Because 504 likes, you guys, let's get the likes up. Let's get the likes up. Um, you know how I know people be idol worshiping because they really on here saying this is some people saying this is some of her best work. Oh my god, that shit trash. It sounds like an RB bitch on a country all uh, beat. She did better going that fucking uh, 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 the route of um. Lil Nas X, you know how he basically put that beat on that country sound? She did better doing that, because K. Michelle is a country artist. They got black country artists who really is country, like that, that they do that. Beyonce ain't that. Be Beyonce not that, y'all. I'm sorry. I had to say that part. That shit trash. And I only listen to the snippets that they posted. That shit trash. I'm sorry, Beehive. Don't drag me. Well, y'all gonna do that anyway. That shit trash. I'm listening with clear ears. Y'all ears is clogged up. That shit trash. You want... There's a twang and a sound that goes with country music. There's a slang, a twang and a sound that goes with country music. And that ain't that. That shit trash. I'm sorry, y'all. No, I'm not sorry. I'm lying. I don't want to say I'm sorry because I'm not. That shit trash. Beyonce, go back to the drawing board. That lady over there, she colonizing. That's what Beyonce doing. Can we talk about it? Beyonce over there colonizing. She over there colonizing. Yes, she is. She's colonizing. Let me tell you what she's doing. She's in a genre of music that don't fit her. 522, all right, let's get them likes up. This lady is in a genre of music that do not fit her. It don't belong to her. It's like, it's like, um, it's like, y'all remember that, 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 uh, that, uh, that cartoon Cinderella? Y'all remember Cinderella? When the, the Wicked Stepsisters uh had uh tried on the, the shoe and it just didn't fit. Yeah, Beyonce one of the wicked stepsisters. That shit, that shit, yeah. Y'all gonna keep telling me this nigga passed away. Y'all, Louis Gossip dead. Fuck. I done seen that 20 times. Yeah, they want me to highlight it. Louis Gossip Jr. is dead. Junior is gone. Please put the slow singing and flower bringing in the chat for Louis Gossip. The nigga dead. I don't, I don't care about them celebrity people, girl. He dead. He gone. We all gotta go. Louis Gossett Jr. dead, y'all. Hey, I don't know if you are a friend, tell a friend. Louis Gossett Jr. I've seen 50 million people put that shit in the chat. Y'all want me to highlight this so bad. He dead. He gone. He dead. We all gotta go. It's just the good Lord tapped him on his shoulder today. He gone. He did. The, go the good Lord, the most high, clocked him out today. Yes, may he rest in peace. May his soul rest in peace. But if you understand how the regeneration works, 
You understand that souls don't rest, but the Bible told you that. So let me move on. Louis Gossett Jr. is um is uh 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 he ain't he an actor or something? The nigga played trumpet or something. I don't know. The nigga dead. That's all I know. He dead. That was Fiddler from Roots. Oh yeah, he dead. Shout out to Uncle Lou. He dead. I done seen 50 people with OMG Louis Gossett. He dead. All right. Y'all put up the little hand or something. I don't know. For Louis, he dead. The good Lord cocked him out. They, they gave him the three taps. The Most High gave him the three taps. He gone. We all got to go. Yeah, he tapped him, Billy. Yeah, he gave him the three taps on the shoulder. Louis Gossett Jr. Look him up. He playing in Roots. You know that fictional bullshit they told y'all was true? Dead. He, 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 he dead. Uh-huh. They probably telling us because I'm older people in the chat. But he, oh, hey, older people, he dead. He the, the, the most high clocked him out. Girl. Now, can I move on, please? I mean, no shit. Rest in, rest in peace. But if y'all understand the way uh, regeneration works, your shit don't rest. It recycles. That don't go like that. The church told y'all that. Get out of them churches. Let's move on. <laughs> Take it easy, Miss Boo, on my CI brother. What CI mean? You a confidential informant? What did that mean, Lyric? Is you an agent on my channel? Now, nah, come on now. Louis gone, y'all. He was 80 something. He was ready. Something's all right. Only way I'm going to be mad if I go, if I kill her, is if I'm, really, I'm still on the moon. Bitch, but if I'm laying down looking stupid, girl, just come on along and tag me out. If the only like my grandma, my grandma on the move. My grandma eighty three. My grandma roll. She real. She real. She do her thing. You would never know. You looked at her. You wouldn't think she was eighty three. But if I'm eighty three, eighty seven, and I'm laid up, girl, come on, girl, lock, please clock me out. Please, I'm asking to be clocked out. What I'm here for? What we doing? Nah, it was. I was. It was a. It was a funny tea, pretty. You know you my dog. Don't think. Don't take it like that. Don't take it like that. It's just that it wasn't even about you. I had seen it fifty million times. I had seen it fifty million times. That's all. It was no shade. My apologies, tea, pretty. That wasn't for you. I only want ninety years if I'm able to, to move. If I ain't moving, I'm living up in the chair. And people feed me and wipe my ass. Don't clock me out, Lord. I don't want to live like that. I want nobody wiping my ass. The fuck? Uh-uh. I don't want nobody wiping my ass. No, ma'am. Go ahead and take me out, Lord. I'm ready to go. Here I am. Send me. Send me. Ain't that an old guy for Here I am. Send me. Send me. That's me. Send me. All right. Um, I'm going in and out. It might be this dog. I had to turn this car on because this dog on AC. Let's move on, y'all. So, who else I had on here? Beyonce, yeah, that shit trash, y'all. I'm sorry. Um, Beyonce, oh, uh, yeah, that shit trash. Beyonce is over there colonizing the, that the people genre, and I'm not mad that she colonizing it from the clears, but I feel like she colonizing it from the Negro. They got real country black people that do country music in real life, and Beyonce over there playing. Beyonce, you wrong for that. K O ass back around that corner to the R and B people. And the pop people. You on the wrong block, baby. Carry your ass back to the uh, around that corner. You done went down the wrong street. Y'all want to hear some real black country artists? Go listen to the country show. They got a slew of black country artists. Uh, Daphne Joy is 50 baby mama. Listen, they got a slew of black country artists that actually are in the art. Beyonce over there colonizing from the Negro. Now she about to say, niggas went the country. Now here come uh, Beyonce. Uh-uh. Back it up, truck. Back the truck up. No, ma'am. See? That, yeah, but see, when I be saying that about y'all things, y'all be getting mad. Beyonce, see, niggas going the country, and here she come. Oh, yeah, they over there on, on the country side. 
Oh shit, get my keys. Grab my keys. Grab my purse. Grab my jacket off the work. And she carried her ass down there to the other country. No, ma'am. That's not your street. Your house ain't on this block. Your house is on. You got two blocks over. You got to go back. She colonizing from the Negroes. Because she knows if she going to step in that genre, everybody going to look at her. She colonizing. But that's y'all face. That's y'all face. She colonizing them, the, the Negro shit. Colonize the clears, but don't do that to the Negroes now. Now she did that one time. This ain't Texas. It ain't hold of It ain't down, 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 down. When she did that ugly ass shit, I had a little beat on the people who was doing the live dance. So I was like, oh, all right, you know, I ain't going to be in the club saying put that shit on. But if it pop up at the doggone door, you out by my head and tap my feet, you know? But girl, leave them people shit alone. You can't colonize from the Negroes. Now, like that don't go like that. You're not supposed to be doing that. And my God is a I haven't forgiven Beyonce ever since she remarried Frankie Beverly and Mike. When she remixed Frankie Beverly and Mike, I haven't forgiven her for that. And you, you know, the radio loved me like that song because I hated it the first month. And hearing it so much, so much, it made me, it played a psychological trick. It made me like it. I've never forgiven Beyonce for fucking with Frankie. I'm still mad at her for fucking with Frankie Beverly and Mary shit. Go lay down, Beyonce. Leave them people shit alone, bro. Leave them people shit alone, bro. Go, go do something else. Go outside and, and, and touch the grass. Go, 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 go pick a flower with, with blue and red in it. What the baby name, Mooney and Siri? What the baby name, Siri? What's the what's the little boy name? I'm running. No, I'm not running. It's still going in and out. It said fix the mic. Hold on. Can y'all hear me better? I turned the Bluetooth off. I don't know why I was going in and out. My signal not bad. You know what else too, Corey? If she was really on some real type shit, she would have um she would have collabed with K Michelle. If she really was on that type time, but she she not on that type time. She not on that type time. Oh, it's Rumi and Sir. I thought it was Siri. My bad. She ain't on that type of time. She over there colonizing from the Negroes. I keep telling y'all. She over there colonizing um from the Negroes. Put a one in the chat if the uh if the uh sound is still bad. Put a two in the chat if it's all if it's all right. Girl special K, that's what I thought the name was. Shit, Siri and Rummy. Shit, go, go, go jump rope or something. It's still bad. Now I'm getting mixed signals now. Is it still bad? Look, there you go. Look. There you go. Miss Bug must be behind. Miss Bug must be behind. Jada say, yay. Three good times, good sometimes, sometimes far away. I'm right here. I don't understand. I don't know, y'all. I don't know what to do. I think because people be calling me while I'm on this bitch. I need to start putting this bitch on do not disturb. Motherfuckers want to call me, fuck up my sound. You know what I'm saying? She said she collabs with artists. She admire. And respect. I'm still waiting for that K. Michelle collab. That girl is a real artist too. K. Michelle, let me tell y'all something. Beyonce is over there colonizing from the Negroes. Go get your girl. If you're on here and you're a Beehive member and you got bees and honey at your house, go get that girl and tell her leave them fucking people alone. Leave them people alone. Them people didn't ask Beyonce to come over there. With all that <laughs> Tell me, I say, go and leave them people alone. Leave them people alone. Now, them people ain't fucking with you. They ain't coming over there. Uh, 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 give me your shit. Leave them people alone. Because K. Michelle is saying under the table, but y'all don't want to talk about that part. Y'all don't want to talk about that part, dude. 
All right, Hans V. All right, Jazz. All right. All right, George. Shout out to Huntsville. Beyonce, leave them fucking people shit alone, girl. Leave them people shit alone now. Nah. Fuck. Go go do something else. Don't you have children? They ain't got no homework or something. Damn. You could be helping them churn with their homework. Or go, go spend time with your mouth. She don't want to go online talking to and acting like she ain't liking videos and, and, and crazy shit. Go do something. Ah damn. Beyonce, leave them people shit alone. You wanna get on a horse. Erin, she always on that white horse, but you wanna get your ass on the horse with a cowboy hat and some boots. And now all of a sudden you a country singer. No. Go lay down. Hell no, she don't write no music, Miss Parker. She wouldn't you she couldn't write herself out of a paper. And I ain't gonna lie. She used to write back in the day, but Solange was the one. I don't know if y'all knew that, right? Uh, uh, Solange is the one who used to be the writer back in the day. I sound loud as fuck. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm trying to make sure y'all hear me. I'm trying to make sure y'all hear me. Um, who else I got on here? Wait, let me see. All right, my bad. I'm back, y'all. Um, yeah, Beyonce, leave them people shit alone, girl. Go lay down. Go, 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 girl. Oh. All that fucking shit you be go on vacation. Go, I don't know. <laughs> All on them people shit. Girl, I heard that shit. I said, she ain't even try to sound. She didn't even try to sound like she really for real. She didn't even try to like adapt to the culture of country music. And I'm not talking about the clears. I'm just talking about the culture. She didn't even try to adapt to the culture of the music. She just walked in that bitch like a fertilizer. Now she is getting lighter. Is she turning clear? What's going on? I see the dog on um I see the dog on uh uh, uh the picture. She's getting, she is giving translucent. Is she turning clear? Let me find out she was a clear woman this whole time. Because it's giving colonizer. Leave them people shit alone, girl. Leave them people shit alone, Beyonce. Go, go, go over there and make, a, make an album for the community, for the alphabet people, for the alphabet suit. That'll do it. She, you know, she, that's her biggest support is the alphabet suit. Make you, an alpha, make you a song and call it alphabet suit. Call it Campbell's Alphabet Soup. It make you a song for the girls. They will love it. You know, but leave them fucking people alone, girl. Fucking people ain't fucking with you. Jazz won't let her. You know my Jay-Z won't let her? Yeah, they say he a handler. They say he a handler. Girl, Beyonce and Wendy Osefo mom around the same color. They both using the same cream, huh? Oh, Mia, Mia, go lay down. Look at Mia's on my white blind wig and clear skin is country to her. <laughs> Girl, y'all, you right. I guess, I guess, get a little clear and put your little, oh, put your wig on and your hat and some boots. That's it. I don't know. I never heard the album. Was it an alphabet album? I didn't hear it. I ain't listening to that demonic ass shit. I ain't listening to that demonic ass shit, girl. I was scared. When I seen them visuals, I said, oh, dude. Didn't I show y'all the horns, the bull horns, the ram horns on that old last night? Didn't I show y'all the, the ram horns on that old last night? Y'all say over there, I told you my best friend went to the concert. Um, I told y'all, uh, my best friend went to the concert. And I kept asking that whole if she all right, bitch. I'm scared, bitch. You you good? I ain't fucking with that lady. Y'all go ahead on. Bad, bad, baby. I don't know. I ain't hear the, I ain't hear the album. I ain't hear it. So let me know. I don't know. Geechee Dan, what's up? Question, have you done a show on Putin showing facts that Jesus was black? No, I haven't. And you know, I just seen that. Um, And I'm sitting here saying, Putin shouldn't have to tell y'all that. Don't the book tell y'all he black? Don't the book tell you he had hair wool, no clear. 
Skin of bronze, no clear. I, I thought, I didn't think Pumi had to say that. But see, if y'all really want to get some tea, go back and look at some of them speeches through Hitler. Hitler was telling us some tea too. Mm -hmm. Hitler was giving us some tea too, but you know, how they go, you know. Um, I ain't scared, Gigi. I ain't scared. I said what I said. Shit, tell her leave them fucking people shit alone. He ain't trolling. What y'all don't know is the Vatican, the priests and all them people, they bow to a black Jesus behind y'all back. They just put the clear one in front of y'all. You, Because you got to understand the symbolism of this shit. The clear one is the, the reason they put the clear one in front of you so that you and people all over the world can treat them as such when you see them in real life. Did that go over y'all head? Did that go over y'all head? You know why they put the clear, you know why behind the, the, the closed doors, the people at the top bow to the black one, but give you the clear one? You want to know why? I'm going to say it one more time in case it went over a couple of y'all head. The reason why the, 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 the priests, the big time people, they go bow to the Negro one and give you the clear one is so that when you revere that clear one down at the church house and you fear that clear one in the church house, when you see the ones walking on the street, you're going to have that same reaction. Why you think niggas scared to getting popped by a clear man? They don't care about getting clear. They don't care about getting popped by each other, but a clear person. Oh my God. That'll send the whole, that'll send the whole community in an uproar. You get it? Y'all ain't ready for that though. But black people, if y'all had to have a clear man tell y'all that the man was was a Negro, then you you already gone. I don't think I can save your feet. I, I don't think I can say nothing to you, baby. I think it's over. I think you've already made your bed and lied in it. I don't think I, I don't think there's no sense. If you need it, put me to tell you some shit like that, this nigga ain't even speak no English hardly. And you if if you needed that, 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 that colonizer to tell you that. Shit me. You might be gone. I don't know if I could, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to play Harriet Tubman out this bitch, but damn. Everybody can't, you can't save everybody. Now I see why they say if she was real, but now I see why they say she had to carry a blicky with her. Because some of these niggas just ain't going to go. See, that, the, the Nisha, open that eye. Listen, open that eye. Open that eye, Denisha. Denisha, open that eye. Open that third eye. Take your feelings off the table. They did take your feelings off the table. Open that eye. See, we got to when when we when we get to talking about real shit, you gonna get some real shit from everybody. The people you don't like, the people you like, the people you hate, the people you don't hate. Open that eye. Don't miss your don't miss your knowledge because you just don't how you feel. Don't miss your don't miss your knowledge because of how y'all feel now. Now, I ain't saying you got to like him. Don't like him. Don't like him. That shit. He, if you feel like you're a horrible person, you're a horrible person. Don't miss your knowledge on how you feel. We gotta, that's what, see, it's 2024. We in the age of Aquarius. The people, the knowledge is there for the taking. We just got to get out of our feelings and accept it. Shout out to Denisha, though. That's my baby. Listen, the knowledge is there in 2024. You just got to accept it. Now, if you don't accept it, then I don't know what to say, Fat Fat. Yep. Ask yourself this. And this kind of off topic, but kind of on topic. Ask yourself why the people America demonize, they go so hard to demonize them. But the people they tell you to uplift really be not, not don't be the people they say you are. Let me give you an example. Malcolm X versus Martin Luther King. They demonized Malcolm X, called him a, 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 a supremacist, called him a nationalist, called him all types of stuff. Told you they didn't want to teach you nothing about him. But if you heard anything about him before that movie, before Spike Lee did that movie with Denzel, it was all negative. Oh, he was a divisive person. He wasn't for the, he was, they, they demonized the fuck out of Malcolm 
but they projected and propped up Martin, Mike, Mike. And I said, well, I'll be there. Why would you prop up Mike, Mike, but demonize Malcolm when they basically had the same end goal? They just had different routes to get to where they were going. See, Mike, Mike was saying, hey, maybe if we going to be friends with him, and, and, and break bread with them and eat with them and, and they, they would think that we're nice and then maybe they'll give us what we want. But Malcolm was saying, nah, the devil is the devil. I said, we don't need them motherfuckers. Let's go, do our, let's all get together, do our own thing. And then, you know what I'm saying? But they were still ending, they, they still had the same end goal. And I kept saying like, well, damn, why they prop Mike Mike up? But they don't prop. Malcolm up. And then do that eye open, that third eye opening and research, it dawned on me. They both got the same fate, right? If you like Mike Mike so much, why y'all pop him? If he if if one was doing good and the other was doing bad, why you pop the one that was doing good? I see why you okay, you pop the one that was doing bad. Why you pop the one that was doing good? Because when you peel back the layers, I'm about to give y'all the game. When you peel back the layers on that shit, type shit, listen to me and listen to me good. When you peel back the layers on what Malcolm was preaching about and what Mike Mike started preaching about the last two to three years of his life, they were both preaching about economic independence for the Negro person in America. Are you tracking that? They were both at the end, not at, not at first. See, at first it was just Mike Mike talking about, uh, not Mike Mike, Malcolm talking about uh, in economic independence. We don't want to be part of your government. We don't want none of that shit. We want our land and whatever and let us go on about our business. Mike Mike was saying, well, let's go be friends with them, man. We, they they going to like us, I promise. And then they going to give it to us. And then at the end when Mike Mike realized they ain't giving us a motherfucking thing, then he went full throttle and said, you know what? Shit. Bitch, we on. We about to. St we. You know he. Do you? Do you guys know that he was formalizing a, a march to Washington where they were gonna stake out in front of the Washington D.C. in front of, in front of Washington D.C. and the White House and all of that shit. And, and it wasn't just Negroes. It was all people. It was a poor. It, they call. It, look, look it up. It's called the Poor People's Campaign. That's what it's called. Remember, I told you they had the same objective, but just different routes to getting there. So once Mike Mike realized he got played, he said, fuck all that shit. I'm about to go to full throttle. Now, I'm going to cap my ass over here and get all the poor people together. Fred Hampton did the same thing. I'm about to get all the, pro, the poor, uh, poor people together. We're going to form a campaign and we're going to go down there and make them people. That's why y'all ever heard that, that snippet when he said, now this time when we come into uh, Washington, we coming to get our check. Y'all ever heard him say that? Put a one in the chat if you ever heard a snippet of Martin Luther King saying, now this time we come to Washington, we coming to get our check. He was talking about our land. He was talking about how they stole our land and gave clear people our land for a low price and taught them how to uh, mechanize and everything. That's what he was talking about. So he was saying, man, now to play nice, woo -de -woo, suck dick, da 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 and now y'all playing in my face, now I'm about to come get our shit. And he popped them inside, upside the head. Yeah, right, George. He also started telling Negro people, you were the original people of this land. But Malcolm X had been said that. Y'all know how he, y'all want to know when he said that? We didn't land on Plymouth Rock. Plymouth Rock landed on us. Y'all remember he said that? Remember Malcolm said, we didn't land on Plymouth Rock. Plymouth Rock landed on us. You know what that means? When he said, we didn't land on Plymouth Rock, you know, the boats that they around here telling y'all they had niggas under? And brought him over here. That would be us landing on Plymouth Rock. Malcolm had already said that years before that we didn't land on Plymouth Rock. Plymouth Rock landed on us, nigga. They came in. We was already here. They came by us. I ain't asked them. I ain't. Fuck. We ain't come from them. Them niggas came to us. They came to our house. But they don't teach that. This is why I tell y'all they got educated fools. Dumb, smart dummies. Let me tell you why I tell y'all they got smart dummies. Because if you follow the system, the system ain't going to tell you nothing of what I just said. They're going to tell you everything but it. Now, tell me the truth. 
if I don't tell, if I don't show you out of their mouths what they say to show you that it's true, it's not my word. That's what my educational Fridays are. I show you out the people mouth. I let the people see it. If I don't show you that they say that, somebody with an education gonna look at me and think they're smarter than me, and I'm talking out the side of my neck. But the facts of the matter is. I'm the one telling the truth because I'm getting it from the source. You getting it from the clear man who indoctrinating your ass at the schoolhouse. And because we put a fucking, uh, 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 what do you call it? Uh, because we put so much fucking, not, I hate when I be drawing blanks. Because we put so much freaking, uh, 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 wealth, weight in education. The average person who's so-called not educated will look at the educated person and believe them before they believe me, even though I can show it to you from the mouth of the person. They ain't teach us that in school. But I just told you. And I'm learning from other people and I'm learning from my own research. So it ain't like I'm I'm just coming up with this shit. I ain't coming up with it. I'm listening to other people. Then I go back and do my own research. And when I'm seeing that, what I'm seeing is true. Then I come and tell y'all. That's how I do. Actually, I, I, I might read something. Or I might see something. And then I say, let me go see. And then when I go see, and I'm like, show sure the fuck is. Then I come back to y'all. Some of the shit I be looking for, though. You know what my daddy told me? I called my daddy yesterday. I'm going to see if I, I can call him tonight for educational Friday. Now, on my mama's side of the family, uh, my, uh, the tribe was the Sumi, Suma tribe. Suma tribe, but they ended up changing their names, right? And, and uh, moving in with another tribe. Uh, or, 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 or going together with another tribe. That's my mama's side of the family. Suma tribe. Suma tribe Indians. And then on my daddy's side, it's the Shoki tribe, right? My daddy's side, Shoki tribe from Florida. I, I didn't even know. I just learned this yesterday. I'm going to try to see if my daddy going to come on tonight at 5 o'clock. Look, on the on my daddy's side of the family, it's the Shoki tribe. But the Shoki tribe ended up going into the so-called Cherokee tribes. And guess what my daddy told me? You know what my daddy said? He said, you know why they did that? Because that's when they was taking everybody land. So they was putting everybody on the Cherokee. So if you don't exist as the tribe that you were when you owned your land, they get to take it because you don't exist. So they made everybody, the majority of people, the Cherokees, so that they could take their land. That's what my daddy told me last night. No bullshit. I'm going to see if I, I can call him tonight. So when Martin Luther King said, no, back it up. When Malcolm X said, mind you, my daddy is 71. When Malcolm X said, when Malcolm X said, we didn't land on Plymouth Rock, Plymouth Rock landed on us. That's proof that we were already here. And then turn around Martin Luther the King, Mike, Mike, when he said they gave uh, grants to the white peasants, right? That's And I'm paraphrasing. They gave uh, uh, grants to white peasants and even gave them money to uh, mechanize their farms. Their farms. Meaning, go get uh, Cotton jeans and all that ugly shit. A lot. Let me tell y'all something. All y'all saying Cherokee, go back further. You might be something else. They, they made everybody Cherokee so they could take their land. But look, yes, the homestead act. Let me fuck y'all head up. They um, they 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 they. Where was I going? Oh yeah, Malcolm X said. They let we landed on Plymouth Rock. Plymouth Rock landed on us. We was already here. Mike Mike came back and said they said. He said they gave the white peasants, foreigners, you see it every day, right? L let's put this in perspective today. Then I got to get out of here. Look, let's put, and we'll talk about Carlissa next time. Look, let me put this in perspective. Listen to what I'm saying and think about what's happening right now in 2024. Michael uh, Luther the King, Martin Luther the King said they gave grants to their European or foreign uh 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 what did he call them? I just said it. He called them um peasants. That's what he called them. And not only that, not only that, I saw I watched that whole video, G Power. I watched the whole video. Not only that, not only did they give them money, they gave them grants to mechanize their farm. They gave them money to buy machines to run their farm. Now, before we move on, 
Don't they have uh so-called clear peasants coming into America right now? Ain't they homeless? Ain't they broke? Ain't they nothing? I mean, not nothing, but you know what I mean? Aren't they people who don't have? Right? Think about 2024. Don't they have, don't they give them money? Don't they give them money? In, in a leg up? Don't they today? In tw This was in 1960, I want to say four, five, three. I can't remember, y'all. I don't want to get the line. Think about what I'm saying. And, and when Martin Luther King said his his speech, he said they gave them land. Not only that, to they to they white peasants, and that's what we to be honest, that's what we got here right now. And then they not only that, they gave them money to mechanize their farm. Not only are these people coming in getting uh getting a place to stay, ain't they giving them uh stipends? Ain't Joe Biden up there talking about giving them people money? Ain't the ain't the people giving them folk money today? Let's move on to what else uh, Mike might say. Then Mike might say, uh, um, oh, then he said, um, he said, uh, to build land grant colonies, right? Then he said, and I'm paraphrasing, I don't have it off the top of my head. Now I'm gonna shout out, go look at Dane Calloway. He has the, the snippet. Uh then he turns around and says, he said, Oh, after he said we gave them land grant uh to uh to mechanize their farm, he said. If the long story short, he said, this time when we come to the White House, the last time we was hugging and singing, we shall overcome. But this time when we come, we coming to get our checks. And he wasn't talking about the reparations, these nicknogs running around here hollering, I want my money. You owe me 10 million. No, bitch. Listen to me and listen to me good. Your wealth is in the land. That's where your money at, in the land. It ain't in no bank. You gonna spend that shit in your generations after, and to come ain't gonna have shit. Your money comes from the land. If you looking for money, it's in the ground. So when my daddy told me that they were Shoki tribes, and I didn't ask him this, I swear to God, he just he just blurted it out. My keep in mind, my dad is seventy one years old, and he remembers stories from his great grandmother. That's where he getting this from. His great grandmother. He said my great grandmother. Shoki tribe and she married a Cherokee. This is this was exactly what he said. He said, but then they turned the Shokis into the Cherokee. He said, but they did that so they could take their land. Oh Lord. Ain't that what Malcolm said? Ain't that what Martin said? Ain't they taking y'all shit in 2024? Ain't they taking your shit right now to give to them folks? Ain't you paying taxes to fund them people? Ain't they taking your schools to, to house them churn and them people? 2024. Ain't that what they doing? They done already took most of our land. So that's that. That's why you got people like Oprah and, and, and Elon Musk buying up a whole bunch of land. But niggas is so focused on the money because they put advertisements in front of us. We don't even realize they can give us a million dollars today. That ain't no wealth. That ain't going to help your generations to come. And I know a lot of niggas, no, that's not true. I'll, I'll build a business. No, they, the land is where your money at, if that's what you're looking for. So, y'all could go ahead on and keep be, keep the blinders on. This is the age of information. It's out there for the taking. All you got to do is just pay attention. If you want to be somebody, if you want to go somewhere, you better wake up and pay attention. The time is now or never. If you want to go somewhere, you better wake up and pay attention. Thirty thousand acres was taken from my family while I, uh, while I rent right by the land they took. Shake my head. You know that's ways you could get it back. Go holler at Dan Calloway. I only know a little bit. I ain't, I ain't too much on it. Go look at Dan Calloway or Tanisha Calloway. Really, Dan, he be having it on his channel. But his wife Tanisha Calloway be putting some shit out too. She be putting some heat out. They real researchers. Go check out Dan Calloway. He'll show you how to get your land back. All you gotta do is prove it was yours and it was taken wrongfully. You can get your shit back. You get your shit back. Go look at Dan Calloway. 
I'm going to tell you all this and I'm getting off here because I got to go run, y'all. Look, this information in 2024, this is the information age. 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 Everything you've ever had questions about, even things you didn't thought you have questions about is right in front of your face. You don't even have to go look around. Fat Joe help about Fat Joe about to help his people replace us since black people don't vote. Girl, all right, Angela. Girl, this ain't got nothing to do with voting. Y'all keep going down to the, to the uh, thing. We did a video on that too. Look, if 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 you want to know anything or if maybe anything you haven't even thought about, it's it's right there in front of your face. I should, huh, Terry Eye Storm? It's right there in front of your face. Now, I believe that I've been sent. I don't know if it's by the most high, by the universe, by whoever, maybe it's a combination to come and help open a couple people's eyes. And I'm gonna try to do this best as I can. Uh uh I always tell people, don't listen to nothing I say. Go research it. In this day and age, you ain't gotta you it ain't hard. Anything you want to know is here for the taking. If you don't want to know, that's fine. But if you do, it's here. Open your ears. Open that third eye and that third ear you got. I always tell people I got three eyes and three ears. Open that third eye and open that third ear. And watch how much, watch how the world looks like a whole different fucking place to you. Every, I'm talking about, watch how the entire world looks like, like you in another fucking planet. Oh gosh. I love my people. I want the best for my people. Um, once we get out of this system and start believe and stop believing in a system that was never designed to believe to help you from the beginning, rather it's voting, rather it's none of it. Education, it wasn't designed for you to do well, it wasn't designed for you to prosper. If so, niggas would have prospered already. Girl. But if y'all want to keep running down there, casting y'all ballots, and woo -de -woo -de -woo, we've already proved on Educational Friday, go check it out, that black people at the time were not dying to vote. They died to be a first-class citizen, and they thought they were going to get it through the vote and other things. But, you know, if y'all want to just go ahead on with the narrative that black people keep telling each other, your ancestors died for you to vote, you need to go vote, then carry your ass down to the ballot and get your sticker. Let me just say this before I get up out of here. Oh, uh, Y'all pay attention to what's going on around you. Take care of each other, y'all. Long work today is oh shit what's the homework today it's friday we ain't got no homework shout out to y'all y'all pull up um, to educational friday tonight at 5 p.m i'm gonna debunk some of that shit that was happening over there on, on uh side the channel and we're gonna get into some other things i got we still i'm still on stokely carmichael ass oh yes kwame Ture, i'm still on that that fucking plant's ass i'm gonna get him i'm still on i'm still looking up shit on him i'm, I'm on his ass but anyway i love y'all i appreciate y'all everything Oh, y'all being here, you know, hearing my voice. Y'all could be somewhere else hearing some bullshit and some gossip, but y'all here listening to me talk crazy, I guess. I love y'all. Uh, see y'all later. Bye. Can you hear me now? Oh, let's go. <laughs> it's your boy, Big Chew. The voice of the beat. You know what I want. Blaze up. Come on, Blaze. It's a beat for me. Wow, 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 wow. Drop it for your guy, for your B-O-Y Do it for your guy, for your B-O-Y Come on, baby, we love Drop for your, 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 Time to talk. I don't get no fucking time to talk. Who the voodoo doll is? The nigga you just had up here.